to Dave's home cooking. I found a great recipe online for a uh, crock pot chicken and dumplings. It's a very bare bones recipe. Uh, but after reading the reviews, which I always recommend, uh, and seeing what other people are doing with it, I've made a number of modifications to it. I think it'll turn out pretty good. I'm going to use three chicken breast halves, frozen, uh, and four chicken thighs, frozen, skinless, boneless. They're in the freezer now. I just washed them up, and uh, I'm going to put them in there frozen tomorrow morning, very early. Uh, I'm going to do all uh, fresh vegetables, the recipe or the modifications that other people made called for canned vegetables. I'm not going to do that. One of the shortcuts I'm, I am going to use is um, one of the people used a frozen biscuit dough, you know, a pop open can type thing. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that and roll them out and cut them into strips and stick them in there uh, at about the three and a half hour mark. I intend to cook it for at least six hours. And then just before serving, I'll pull the whole chicken's pieces out and shred them up, cut them up, whatever needs to be done. Should turn out pretty good. Prep has started now. Like I said, I've got the chicken in the, in the freezer. I want to show you why you wash mushrooms and then wipe them off. Unlike people like Rachel Ray who tell you, oh, just wipe it off with a damp cloth. No, wash them. They don't absorb water. Okay? They don't. That's the old wives' tale. Let me show you why you wash them and then wipe them off. You see that? That's why you wash them. Stuff number four. Just a little prep for you. I'll show you how it's done. Very easy. Okay, as you can see, we're loading this puppy up with uh, everything we can tonight just to save a step tomorrow. We've got our mushroom, onion, celery, and uh, carrots in there. Three large carrots, four stalks of celery, one large onion, uh, about ten cremini mushrooms sliced up in the very bottom there that you can't see. I've done all the prep I can today. Uh, it's ready to go tomorrow. All I need to do is add the potatoes. The cream of chicken and the cream of mushroom soup, chicken broth. Turn it on. You can see all sorts of seasoning in there, including fresh parsley, but I've also got Italian seasoning, a little bit of cumin, uh, dried basil, dried oregano, a lot of salt and pepper. And uh, that's about it. Uh, but there's a lot of it. Because there's going to be a lot of stuff to season once everything is put in there. So, anyway, um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Okay, so, uh, 8 o'clock this morning, I went ahead and turned it on low. Actually, 7 o'clock this morning, I turned it on low for one hour while the chicken thawed just enough to be able to pull it apart. Uh, then I cranked it up to high, put it at six and a half hours, put the chicken in. So, I did my ingredient dump. Everything is in there. 12 o'clock, four hours into it, I took, uh, you know, one of those cans of, uh, of uh, biscuits that uh, you pop open, you know, and you press it with a spoon or bang it on the counter, pop, it pops open. And uh, I rolled most of those out uh, fairly thinly, with a little flour to keep it from sticking, and then cut it into strips, and I just dumped that in. Let's see how it's doing. You can see the uh, biscuit dough that I'm using as the dumplings is plumping up nicely. Uh, I kind of need to get them down in the water, but they keep floating to the top. Um, but I figure two hours they ought to be done. There you have it. Um, chicken and dumplings. I've got a grande biscuit and some steamed broccoli. That's what the table looks like. I just pulled out the insert from the crock pot and served it in that. Thanks for joining me on Dave's Home Cooking Chicken and Dumplings today. Hope you enjoyed it.